What's up, hippo lovers? We will have another analysis. Someone redeemed their points on Twitch. And now we're taking a look at what they had to say. So Keller is playing a tournament. He's the guy who did send in the wreck and he is facing bad mojo. Maybe Keller can write us what RM level that is. I mainly know him as a deathmatch player. And Kavasan is the map. So as you all know, two pawns and some berries and relics in center. So Frank's considered to be one of the stronger civilization. Keller 1550. Okay. And opponent is 1650. So we are going for the pawn. That feels a bit late. Right? Starting the pawn with 165 wood still in the bank. Normally, you send four villagers on wood and then send the villager out. Um, yeah, especially with that long distance. I would have liked that one. Also, I would not have built the house with him, but with one of the villagers at home. There's a small typo. Where? CA scoreboard? I don't know. Okay. So, I would have liked to see... That a bit differently. Mm, okay, now the boar is laid. Always go for the sheep, right? Oh boy. That is losing lots of um, time. That is nine villagers that didn't work for 15 seconds now. And oh boy. Oh. Oy, 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 oy. Not your typical 1550. Um. Yeah. Okay, taking the fight there. I like that. So, Keller did say we have to take a look at army composition. Six on wood. Okay, now we're going a bit wild. And as you can see, right? Three fishing ships in the queue. Ay, 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 ay. Not pretty. Also, never follow this one. So, yeah, some mistakes were made here. Let me quickly mute uh, the game. So we only have capture eight sound. Okay, so the game is going a bit longer. So we are forwarding a bit. Idle TC time in Dark Age. You basically lost a villager here, right? 24 seconds idle time. Could have been another extra villager and probably two more fishing ships already. And we also lost the scouts. So yeah, mistakes were made for sure. Mm, barracks placement, I kind of like it. You need to play. Oh, 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 yo, 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 yo. So you're going for the very wild walls. Um, and not even including your gold. Right, if you wall like this, wall in front. Hmm, I don't like this too much. This is this is undefendable, right? If he goes for more army than you, you still die here. If he goes early scouts, you won't finish those walls. Hmm. I think either they need to be smaller or earlier or you don't go for them at all. So I, I assume he will get in at s some spot. Now dog there. Tough for you to scout. Obviously that's a bit problematic. And yeah, our fuel age timing is obviously not that competitive. Feels like a second lumber camp could have been a thing, but we are investing so much into walls. Also, not a single villager on gold means that if he just tries to contest here and goes for two fire galleys, we can't win water. So, would have liked to see if we contest the pawns to be a bit more active. Now we're going for the full walls, basically giving full control to our opponent. This is him ha handing him the map control on a map where he loves to have the map control. If he gets a mill up here, we're basically dead. So I think we simply gave away way, way, way too much control. This is how I used to play, I would think like even one and a half years ago as well. Just trying to think, yeah, I'm not gaining, uh, like getting any damage, but actually you're getting so much damage. So let's, let's remember, right? We have five fishing ships extra or let, let's let say four fishing ships extra this whole time so how much should we be ahead in resources 
four, let's say for five minutes. Let's just assume 80. So we should be at like 320 resources, roughly, roughly, right? Due to fish. 300. And now we take a look how far we actually had. And we are 200 behind. So we lost 520 resources <laughs> um, simply by walling with all our villagers, right? So much idle time, so much running around. And this is like 500 resources. That's six scouts. Um, yeah. I, I really would have liked to see you go for army instead of walling that heavily. You're giving up all the control here. And where's the stable? Where are the units? Also, spearmen don't need to be inside here anymore. Maybe you didn't need to go for them. And yeah, I know you lost your scout. Yeah, you're scared. But if you just go for an army, like he can't have he can he can have one more scout than you. But that's the maximum. Uh, yeah, two sheep stolen here, but pretty late. And now fish is catching up. We should probably contest the water. And now we are fully walled. Starting now. Wood upgrade is something we obviously would have loved to see. Okay, getting it now. Walling in there. I like that. Um, here you went for the shorefish to get some scouting. He still gets the dock up if he wants to. I think sending a spearman here could have been nice. And now you're trying to be fancy, trying to wall here, but full HP scout. Oh, you could have actually lost the scout there as well. And yeah, now you being laid on gold. But okay, we will have... Oh no, yeah, we are, we are so far behind in Castle Age as well. Uh, over two minutes. Uh, did we miss a building there? Looked like it with all the resources that were floating. And we can't contest that water now. Mm, we will continue being around with that dog. Maybe a demo could have been a thing. Yeah, we will add that one afterwards. But still, he has all the map control, right? He should have built a castle, a TC here, and a monastery. Get five relics and get all the berries. And then the game is over against Franks. Now we're going for camels. Makes lots of sense. Um, didn't really realize that he was in there in the back. We are winning the water. So that's nice for us. We're eight workers ahead. We might have some more losses. Mm, so we're pushing this back. Reasonable position. Getting the water now. Would have loved the war galley there. And now he's going pikeman. That is obviously the tricky scenario, right? Now we both need to kind of... Like, we need to transition away from camels. Uh, do we go pikeman ourselves? Do we go crossbow? Hmm... I think I like the pikemen a bit more. Simply because we have such a good food eco as well. Yeah, 23 on food. I think I like the pikemen switch. A good unit for the long run, anyways. Unless he gets taxman, which is a long tech away. So we need the tech switch now. Let's see if it's coming. You already said that you didn't know about army composition, so I assume it will be a bit late. This, those are some solid walls. A tiny bit late, but we will deal with that. Camels with the defense. Nine villagers killed. Completely even KD. Mm, we have quite some idle TC now. Holy moly, we're one TCing and had four and a half minutes of idle villager time. Is that is that for real? Sick. So we are a solid 10 villagers behind simply because our TC is idle. Need to really work on that one. Mm. Obviously, this is not the most. Re um, No, not the best game to analyze, simply because we lost the scout, right? Which should be the key indicator. Camel's not really a great raiding unit, as we just saw. 
And now we go double siege workshop. Okay, to counter the pikemen. Camel, scorpion, I don't mind this one too much, I have to say. Triple TC, we were dealing with those knights. Um, upgrades, plus one attack, plus one defense. We do have bloodlines. He has one and pikemen upgrade pretty soon. Okay. Chasing this one down. We have fast printer. He doesn't. And I think I want to go a bit more into normal speed now because now it feels like decision making is becoming really key. So he's thinking about imping. We are not. More knights there at the side. What is our vision right now in this game? Mm, we feel like we have a good idea. Actually, we never scouted the top there. That's a bit unlucky. TC there. Okay, okay, okay. Still would have loved to see a monastery, right? We are still ignoring the the map a bit. Which is Kavasan. And no berry usage, no relics picked off. And monastery is just really good with those units as well. Okay. He could have benefited from a second or third barracks, I believe. Now a third siege workshop. Not sure if that is really needed. Right? Your siege. First of all, if you build an, another production facility, make sure that your other ones are working first. Both siege workshops not working. You don't need a third one then. At least not for production. Okay, TCs. Ah, quick wall's a bit late. Happens to the best of us. Need more camels there. We are around. Pressuring quite heavily. Yeah, we, we, are, we are in an even spot, I would think. Some more camels here. Could be nice. Now the engagement. This one could be crucial. Scorpions have to be good. Yeah, opponent should never take the fight against us here. Not by him. Maybe we can lure him in a bit if he's on aggressive stance. He is not. Meanwhile, we are dealing with that aggression. And uh, maybe Mangonel or Rams could be a good thing at this end. Okay, now he's sending his army in, and this one should be great for us. Scorpions behind, camels at the front, dealing with the knights there. Scorpions actually didn't need to retreat. The problem is now you're retreating away from your camels as well. Uh, and now we only have two scorpions left, make it one scorpion left. And yeah, we lost all our advantage here. Ooh, now we need to disengage. Oh, that didn't work out well. Ooh, so what happened here? Mm. We kind of I think you needed your camels on stand ground to protect the scorpions a bit better. Also, if you have like a ram or a mangonel, you feel like you are doing more damage and forcing your opponent more to react, right? With this one, like scorpion camel, you're not dealing any damage actually, and he can decide when to fight. So I think some heavy hitting siege could have been nice. That is actually doing pressure. Yeah, you were in his face, but you weren't killing anything. And yeah, this is a horrible fight. Ugh. Even with the scorpion, yeah, I think he could even stay in this one. Like pikemen against camels is, is crazy good. It's crazy good. Okay, but still reasonable game where even the military, even in... Military and economy. More mangonels. And now you will see that it will be way tougher for him to engage. But we still don't have any additional units. Scorpion, camel. It's something we don't see too often. The problem with it is that it's kind of limited in its micro potential, right? Crossbows, you can always micro. Pikemen, you can dictate fights a bit better. But scorpions, you're kind of here. And he can decide, okay, now I want to clean up the army. Would love if you have six to seven builds on stone. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that either. You have enough villagers, stone spots. Yeah, something like that here. Could have been nice. Also, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Wheelbarrow. 
Ooh, way too late. Ooh. Losing lots and lots of resources. Defensive castle, so we have to think about imping. Which we are. Scorpions. Ah, opponent doesn't have his army on stand ground either. Ah, we have to be happy with that one. It's still like... Scorpions aren't really the great 1v1 unit, right? This is maybe the spot where going for Commander Ren. Crossbows is the way to go. Right, we could have had villagers on stone, built the castle, and then crossbow in addition to our camels. Could have been really good. Maybe hand cannons later. So much siege? Yeah, that's crazy. If your opponent builds one siege workshop, you actually do too much, so much against us. Okay, engagement now. Okay, we're taking some good shots. Okay, okay, we can't mind this one too much. Can we? Okay, now we're killing our own scorpions a bit. Scorpions shoot. Mangano shoot. Okay, okay. I think this is fine. Uh, now the knights are coming for the clear up. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, and we're losing everything. Okay, but this is the spot where we can transition. And now the question is, we see full pikemen knights. Do we really want to stay on camels? I think Halberdier is the better thing. Hmm. Hot tub stream with Memp? Hmm. I would do it for 3k subs. But you obviously have to ask him as well. Hmm. Okay. So, we got the five relics. I like that. We have the TC in the center. I like that as well. Camels give you a nice mobility. Um, simply not the fighting unit. Persians get bombard cannons, yes. Whenever you want to know that, AOV Tech Tree is a beautiful website for you. And now again, camel raids. I think this is the spot where I preserve my camels, try to fight, try to clear up. And the moment I have like two light calves, I go for the raids. Right, camels and light calf are doing exactly the same. One thing costs gold, the other doesn't. Yeah, now we're staying on to ca on camels. <sighs> Not really the thing. Camels are a good counter to knights, but only if we face nice knights exclusively. The moment, and you saw how many pikemen he had, our knights will lose a lot of efficiency. Now he's going for harbadiers, and I see you now having no not a single extra unit. Just think about it, like Commander ran crossbow. You have endless amount of wood. You could easily have 40 crossbows with this now. We're clearing up the side, love that. Way more camels. And also outpost would be nice, right? Maybe wall here, wall there a bit. That's a ballsy TC. But just drop some outposts and you get a better idea of what he is up to. How he's trying to push, how his army composition is going to go. Um, so let's start taking some notes, shall we? Um, uh, start. Army greater walls. Uh, camels on counters. Uh, knights only. Right. Mm, pike plus knight. Greater camel. Mm, wheelbarrow, yeah, 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 wheelbarrow was something we needed earlier. Uh, Scorp. Um, mm -hmm. Scorp is rarely good with more than six, I would think. 
Mm. Yeah, wheelbarrow still missing. That is crazy. Um, when you have like 80 plus builds, send some on stone. Mm -hmm. Camel not a raiding unit. Too many siege workshops? Yeah, that's something he won't do again. Heavy scorpions now in there. They should be crazy good against those. Camel's not with the greatest fight. Ah, but so many harbors get away. Oh, yo, 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 yo. And that castle, right? The first castle at minute 50. Hmm. Um, also, we can do more outposts. And... Mm, long distance to dock. Send will after four on wood. A scorpion not on stand ground? Oh, I don't even know. What's the difference there? Yeah, using light cap to raid. Makes sense. Nine on gold only now. Uh, where are we getting extra gold? Or oh, did we invest into that much gold? Yeah, we, we went into a very costly army here constantly. Gold wise. Hmm. Scorp's best unit, man? Mm, not really. Love those walls. Love those walls. Both extra golds were on his side. Okay. Um, sign up to tournaments with fair maps. Not your mistake. But yeah. That's obviously just super unfair then. Now we have scorpions, bombard cannons, are being added, that's nice. Still, the problem is like we were constantly the whole game building gold army, right? And he had gold safe with all the harbors. He still has gold there. Still the two gold spots there. And we are now handcuffed. It fails. And yeah, feel, yeah. We don't have an answer to the trap. We'll take two bad fights here. Cavaliers will deal with the scorpions. And harbors will deal with the camels. I think the game is over here. Commander and crossbow were such a good option. No. And I think pikeman was the earlier way. Now he's just sending in harbardier after harbardier and we don't have anything. I assume the game will end in the next five minutes here. Yeah. Contest center a bit earlier, but that's a very specific advice for this map only. And he can keep trading, right, with halberdiers against camels. And you can't keep that up forever. Yeah, 60 halberdiers in the queue. Holy moly, he clearly overboomed. GG. 138 camels. That's kind of the story of the game, right? He built the best unit, like the, the unit that he built the most is perfect against the unit that you built the most. <laughs> Overall, a solid game, honestly, Keller. You you can't be can't be too sad with this one. Um, not the greatest map for you, also. When it came to Woodline, right? How open the map was there. Like with his map, you could have had a way easier wall.
Could have gone for the Dirk earlier. Maybe someone gold. If he contests the pawn, or if he goes for an earlier scout rush, you will get into more problems. The neutral gold spots were absolutely unfair. Yeah. Um, something to look at when you sign up for the tournament. Download the map pack. Generate it five times. Obviously, that's something for the very dedicated people. Mm. Yeah, well, overall, um, I, I don't mind how you played it. Showing lots of lots of right decision making. I think it's really just the army composition. I think if you get to Commander Run, Crossbow, that's nice. And then I think Harbadier is the way to go. Yeah. Overall, pretty solid. Thanks, it was really helpful. Yeah, thank you. And that's it from me for YouTube. Goodbye, pullovers over there.